The news keeps rolling in on Jets training camp. Got a few more nuggets for you. If you appreciate them, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it. So Jets just signed defensive lineman Efide Odenigbo, six foot three, 260 pounds, 28 years old, former seventh round pick of the Minnesota Vikings back in 2017. Actually, I'm starting to like any defensive lineman we add. I'm immediately thinking they're not going to make the team, just to be honest, of how deep we are. Um, but he did have four sacks last year in only 100 pass rush reps, which would have been the highest sack rate of any edge on the Jets last year, believe it or not. But judging by the fact that he's kind of a veteran minimum kind of guy, I'm going to wager that those were a little bit of an outlier and kind of lucky. Uh, I still think, I don't think there's any camp body who's going to come in and take a spot on the defensive line. It's too deep. Now, the safety that we brought in yesterday, maybe. The uh, wide receiver we brought in yesterday for wide receiver six, maybe. But I think these defensive line spots, man, if everyone's healthy, uh, I just think it's going to be closed down. No one's cracking it, in my opinion. Now, to make room, the Jets also released tight end Isaiah Gathings, who was an undrafted free agent, who, you know, 238-pound tight end. It's just not. I just never thought he was a fit, uh, kind of more of a big slot type of player. And if the Jets are going to develop somebody like that, it's going to be Zach Kuntz. So gay things uh, has been released. The Jets also, per Adam Schefter, Schefter, worked out wide receiver Milton Wright on Thursday, who went undrafted in the supplemental draft and last played in 2021 uh, at Purdue, who's six foot three, 200 pounds, um, and apparently has you know some size, some contested catchability but doesn't have the speed for the NFL game. And I'm going to imagine that after working him out, that's when they decided to sign uh, the veteran Erickson that they signed yesterday. So Milton Wright, probably not going to be a New York Jet. Additionally, uh, veteran running back Melvin Gordon is off the market, uh, inking a deal worth up to $3.1 million. So if the Jets find themselves not interested in Dalvin Cook anymore with all that going on, there is another uh, veteran running back that is uh, no longer available. There we have it. We'll talk about it soon.